Hey, USANA United USA, this is Jay Lehman. I want to talk to you today about the highest pain as well as the toughest pain skill, pain skill, uh, toughest skill to master is, and it's actually the same thing. So there's seven skills, according to Eric Worre's book, Go Pro. You could probably break those down into separate skills apart from these seven, but seven kind of uh, macro skills. And that is number one, finding prospects, number two, inviting, number three, presenting, number three, follow-up, uh, number four, follow-up, number five, um, uh, closing. And if you want to just be average and kind of be a vitamin salesperson, learn those first five. If you want to actually create a team, learn step six, duplicate. And if you want to really be highly paid for your efforts, if you actually want to be uh a six-figure earner, then you've got to master the seventh skill, which is promoting events. And we have convention coming up in about three weeks exactly, uh, August 15th through the 18th. And uh, this is a time to really promote hard. There's still a couple people that still might come uh, if you promote hard. And just uh, a little note on that, uh, you have to assign any tickets that you've bought by the end of the week, which is Friday, July 27th, or you can lose those tickets. So make sure you go into the hub or call the USANA customer service line and assign those tickets. So uh, I'm going to talk about promoting to destination events today. There's all kinds of events you can promote to, uh, whether it be a home event, maybe a hotel event, maybe it's a one-on-one -on -one meeting. We're, we're, a lot of times inviting and promoting can be um, synonymous. Promoting is more for uh, bigger events. Inviting is more to take a look at a video or listen to a recording or maybe a phone call. Promoting is more about getting people in a room or getting people on a webinar. Uh, that's what it's really, uh, really is the challenge. And it's, it's difficult to promote events in this day and age, but it can be done. So I want to give you just a couple keys. First of all, Get in your mind, if you want to really blow this thing up, you got to get people to events. The most important events to get people to are destination events, which just happen to be the toughest to get people to because, well, they've got kids, they've got uh, jobs, and they've got to take time off from work and find childcare, and they've got to invest money, got to get a plane ticket, got to get uh, a hotel, and you got to convince people that it's actually worth their time. That can be a challenge. So, I'll tell you what amateurs really do. Uh, uh, amateurs announce that there's uh, an event coming. Hey, August 15th, there's convention, right? And they just kind of announce it, maybe in an email or maybe a Facebook post or in passing. And nobody really comes if you just announce an event. Then there's the next level, which uh, most people do, which is invite people. And that's certainly better than announcing, but it's not exactly what we're going for. Uh, the difference between inviting and promoting is the intentionality that you actually add to the process. So you can announce, you can invite, but the experts really promote an event. And when you promote, you're not just inviting someone. You're actually, when you promote something, you're talking about the benefits that they will get from attending. That's the big issue with promoting. When you promote something, you talk about the benefits of the event. When you're inviting someone, you're just kind of inviting them to take a look at it. But when you're promoting something, you want to really promote the benefits of coming. What are the benefits of coming to convention? I think it really comes down to strengthening your belief. If your belief gets strengthened, then your behavior will follow because all behavior is a product of belief. The four pillars of belief, which we talk about all the time, are um, you know products, company, network marketing, and yourself. All four of those simultaneously get strengthened when you come to convention and see 10, 15,000 people from around the world, not only having success, but having success despite unbelievable circumstances that are going on in their life. And when that happens, something rises up in you where you're like, okay, I think I can actually do this. So quick story, I didn't want to go to my first convention and I often use this to tell people this. They say I can't go. Uh, I didn't want to go to my first convention. Jordan Kemper said you have to go. Everybody that's good at this business uh, went, goes to convention. So I went, I brought one person and I was blown away. Two weeks later, I ended up going silver. Then, um, you know, I went to another uh, event called Next Level U and I said I'm gonna bring more people. I brought 13 people and three weeks later I went gold. Uh, then the next convention, I said, I'm going to bring a bunch of people. I bought about 30 people and I went Ruby two weeks later. And then 
uh, you know, I went to the XRC the next year, brought a bunch of people, and I went um, Emerald. And then another event, uh, two weeks after the XRC the next year, which is the national, uh, um, you know, the, the regional events that we have, uh, I went Diamond. So every big promotion in my business, since I was a builder, happened after an event. And if you want to create momentum in your business, you feel like you're stuck, you've got to be at convention, but not just you, you've got to bring your teammates. So like I said, don't announce, don't invite, promote, talk about the benefits, make a list of your associates that you have and say, listen, I'm trying to fill up my room, um, you know, get a hotel room, split rooms with people, get creative, find a way. If you can close enough to drive, drive. I'm not close enough to drive, so I fly. Uh, find a way to eat Nutrimeal the whole week, right? Whatever it is, I know uh, a lot of our team eats Nutrimeal the whole week. And so you got to learn to be a promoter. If you're a promoter, you're talking to the benefits and you're constantly selling to people, listen, you've got to come to convention and here's why. And so when you do that, what ends up happening is if you get people to convention, it does the work for you. I mean, the stats are there. People that go to convention rank advance and make more money than people that don't. And so what I would say is make it a point not only to be there yourself because you can't promote what you're not actually going to yourself. It's very difficult. You know, talk about going promoting a restaurant or maybe a church that you've never been to. It's kind of hard, right? Or that you don't go to. Like, oh, I've heard that restaurant's great, but I don't go. You should go, though. Try it out. I mean, that's not very compelling rather than say, I went to that restaurant. It was amazing. You've got to go, right? So best thing to do is to come. Second best thing in is to bring people with you. Because remember, it's not what you can do. It's what we can do, especially in network marketing. So don't announce. Don't invite. Promote. It is the highest paid and toughest skill in all of network marketing. And make sure that you come to these events. All right, guys. Bye-bye.